I am Dr. Ray Drew with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is something that we've had people literally travel to our office from all over the world. And that's for a, a, a condition that's become a lot more aware lately with the advanced imaging, and that's called a Chiari malformation. So if you searched and you found this, uh, this video or this blog, then more than likely you're familiar with Chiari malformation. If you're not, what happens is, is that part of the lower brain, particularly the cellar, cerebellar tonsils, the lower part of the cerebellum, will actually come down through the opening of the head, down towards the cervical spine. Now, medicine's approach to this is they see the effect, which is the brain being pushed down through the frame and magnum, through the opening. So their approach is to go in and actually remove the bone around the brain, brain stem, upper part of the neck and they literally surgically will remove the bone so that the bones now do not put that pressure on the uh, cerebellar tonsils and the lower brain. Well, what we do at the upper cervical spine center is we have found that most of the time those people with Chiari malformation, the cause is, be, is because those upper bones are out of alignment. Now, the misalignment isn't necessarily what's causing the pressure on the brain, brain stem tonsils, but that's what's created the whole pushing down of the brain anyway. So this is what happens. So through the top two bones in the neck, around the head, we have something that's called the dura mater, and it is basically a sac that goes inside the skull, comes out and around the brain stem, goes around both the top two bones. And when those bones get misaligned, they'll actually twist, and it's like twisting a bread bag around the brain stem. Well, the cerebral spinal fluid is produced in the middle of the brain. So it's produced in the brain. As your brain produces more and more fluid, it circulates down through the spinal cord, and that sac goes all the way down. Well, if one of those bones are misaligned and squeezing down and closing off that bread bag, the brain's still producing cerebral spinal fluid, but it doesn't have anywhere to go. So what happens is it literally pushes the brain down through the lower opening of the skull, the frame and magnum, creating the visual effect we see a Chiari malformation on MRI CT scan, <clears throat> which in turn create the pressure too, which can lead to, we have such a wide range of symptoms, headaches, neck pain, dizziness, foggy headed, uh, pain down the, in the extremities. So we see all kinds of crazy symptoms and it's just because that pressure is pushing down on the brain, pushing that brain stem deep into those top two bones, when all along the problem isn't the brain or the cerebral tonsils, but the problem was actually created when these bones got misaligned some time ago. Could have been a car accident, a fall, uh, a trauma of some kind to the head, neck, or back, caused one of those bones to get out of the line, and that's what's creating the Chiari malformation. So if, you're, if you have Chiari malformation, if somebody's diagnosed you with it, then I would suggest go and see an upper cervical doctor. See if there's an upper cervical misalignment here that could be creating the Chiari malformation. If so, then hopefully they'll be able to correct it and actually remove the Chiari, which in turn is going to give you your life back. Uh, I would absolutely suggest this before doing anything invasive like surgery. I've had some post-surgical patients uh, that were in much worse shape after the surgery than beforehand. So if you've been diagnosed with the Chiari, Find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you live in the Charlotte area, anywhere in North and South Carolina, our office is the office for you. Give our office a call at 704-588-5560. And let's check and see if your Chiari is coming from an upper cervical problem that we can correct. If you don't live in this area, Google upper cervical doctor. Try to find one near you. And let's see if maybe you can get in there and get some help. So thank you for tuning in. If you have key arm malformation, let's find you an upper cervical doctor. Let's get this thing, get the cause corrected instead of treating the symptoms. Have a great day.